In this video, I'll be answering the question, how do I make an ISFP happy? But before I can get into that, I need you to subscribe to the channel and hit the alert bell so I can stay, so you can stay all up to date on like when I go live or when new videos are posted, etc. So that being said, welcome to CS Joseph Responds. I'm your host, Chase. Here to answer your questions on anything Jungian analytical psychology with the four sides of the mind, also known as four sides dynamics. And the source of today's question is none other than Cora, as usual, basically. And uh, while I'm trying to take a look here at this failed thing, there we go. There it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here's the question on Cora. Awesome. And by the way, guys, like I realize I'm doing a new video here, but all the CS Joseph Responds videos are actually going to be done on the main channel. And the other channels can be converted into something else. Uh, the experiment worked over there. And uh, we're going to be moving that content over here. And don't forget the next lecture, which is the season 22 lecture for INTPs, uh, basically is, uh, well, it's the last one. All lectures after that will actually be premium lectures uh, behind our paywall at csjoseph.live forward slash members or csjoseph.live forward slash portal. Hashtag commercial over. Back to the show. So how do I make an ISFP happy? So uh, good old Cora has, prevent, has, uh, has presented us with uh, two answers. So we have uh, Sabrina Elk, who is a partner at uh, Humanity. And she says, I'm not ISFP, but I have much experience with them as both my mom and sister are this type. I doubt that. I've gathered some of what they say and some of what I think to be true as well. Anyways, give them their own space. Now, sure, many types might enjoy this, but ISFPs love to linger in their own presence, and they don't like this one. This is disrespected and also like to give others their own space. This is actually very fair, and that's, that's a good point. So, yeah, good point, Sabrina. And then sensory experiences, she says, with an exclamation point. I find that most ISFPs have a knack for some artistic talents and interests, so naturally they search for these things. My mom not only cooks... But you could truly feel the heart and passion that goes in into every bite. Other things might include music, going out to eat, carnivals, and other general activities like that. Okay, this is not exactly accurate. She really should be saying shared experiences, not really sensory experiences. Any experience could be appropriate to an ISFP. It's just who they're sharing it with. It's all about giving other people an experience or sharing experiences with other people. That's more ISFP. Uh, then she says, being with loved ones. Okay, I found that even though my ISFPs love their own space, if they really like you, they'll let you into it. My sister will often walk into my room and just sit next to me, not saying anything. She feels perfectly comfortable laying next to others in silence. All that jabber isn't needed sometimes. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Allow them their own pace. Okay, I have to admit, I found these types to be extremely slow in getting things done. Preach it, woman. Yes, Sabrina knows for a fact that ISFPs are slow AF. That's just reality. My sister often tells me that she doesn't want to be forced to do anything, like cleaning, and would rather just come up with the idea of doing it. But that means cleaning would only happen twice a year. Ha. Huh. Anyways, once they get to do it, it's usually perfect. Okay, so Sabrina is basically aware at this point of the virtue and vice uh, of ISFPs, which is um, being idle, for example, or being extremely diligent and getting a lot of things done. So they kind of go back and forth. Uh, the next answer is provided by Joshua Cervance, or Savancy, who has survived depression, depersonalization, and eating disorders. Well, he definitely hasn't survived feminism, that's for sure. Geez, how many times have I writ this disclaimer anyway? Answering as a hybrid IAFSP slash INFP. Results may not be typical. Smiley face. I will take that smiley face and step on it. But these things are... But these are things that make me the most happy. Okay. Alone time. Music. Singing. People. Genuine connection to others. Acting. Movies. Spontaneous activity. The right kind of surprises, whatever. Uh, harmony between peers. Sometimes I'll literally just stop talking, sit back, and enjoy communicating peaceably. That is until someone notices me. Recognition of my work, not necessarily me. Finally, figuring a person out. Helping anyone without receiving too much praise. Any extreme sport. Journaling. More alone time. Deep interpersonal conversations with any loved one, especially alone. 
You know those conversations have a million. Oh my gosh, she just keeps going. Stupid deep pillow talk. Wow. All right, bro. You're not an ISFP. You're an INFP. Why are you commenting here? Please, please get us away from, from this. Um, I will right now. Awesome. So, what makes an ISFP happy? The first thing that you can do to make any ISFP happy, I mean, this is like, like, like imagine, imagine you're in a bar, you know, and you see this ISFP woman there that you've typed because you're an expert at the type grid by now, and you understand interaction styles and temperaments and cognitive axis, axes, as well as quadra. You see this ISFP girl sitting alone at the bar just hanging out because her friend just went to the bathroom or whatever. And, you know, she's just like, huh, hmm. Well, interesting pickup line. You go right up to her and just be like, you know, hey, wow, I I think pretty highly of you. Well, why? Why do you think highly of her? You know, so like comment on how she's dressed or comment on how artistic she is or maybe she's drawing something, comment on that. But you basically say, hey, I think that's cool or I think you're cool, I think this. You have to be like, I think something positive. This goes directly for her expert at thinking inferior. And if you ever want to make someone super happy, you target their inferior and you give their inferior what it's desperately looking for and it immediately sets you apart from other people. Here's another thing that makes them happy. They are so worried about being caring so you give them, show them gratitude for how caring they are because they're worried that they're actually very selfish people because they kind of technically are. Let's be honest, it's like FI hero. But they can be very giving because they often worry about whether or not they're giving so like be aware of that you know what i'm saying they like live in the moment so like here's another way like if you want to pick up this isfp girl in the bar just be like yo um hey i'm gonna go do this thing do you want to come with me it's that simple you just give her the choice hey do you want to come with i'm gonna do this you know you want to come with you know i mean especially if you're a man you should be making yourself your own mental point of origin and it's all about what you're doing and you just invite her to come with you and she's kind of like a side piece to what you're doing essentially and that's like how you can have a really good relationship with uh, an ISFP woman, for example, so like, why not, you know, like, why wouldn't you, right? So yeah, I mean, that's, that's how you make an ISFP happy in general. Um, but yeah, always make sure that you're telling them that you think highly of them for some reason. Uh, always be willing to drop something for them at an instant, because SE users, especially SPs, love it when their people around them uh, stop everything they're doing for them and it makes an isfp feel very very important whenever you stop paying attention to whatever you're paying attention to and then you give them your attention because isfps they love them attention i mean they're kind of like attention whores let's be honest and they love them some attention so give them attention it makes them feel good you know what i'm saying always give them freedom of choice always give them choices just make sure whatever choices you give them benefit you Hashtag Xanatos Gambit. But the bottom line is, as long as you give them choices and give them freedom, they're good. You know, assuage their worries by saying that they're a very caring person, right? Again, tell them that you think highly of them. They really love that. Also, anytime they actually remember something, praise them for that. Gosh, ISFPs love them some praise. You know what I'm saying? Recognize that uh, they kind of just, uh, you know, are not aware of other people's intentions. So protect them. If you see someone who has dark intentions towards an ISFP, provide them warnings because it makes them feel safe. And they just, they love it even more. And actually you keeping them safe actually creates loyalty inside of an ISFP towards you. It's amazing. Again, tell them that you think highly of them. In fact, tell other people that you think highly of them so it gets back to them. And either do it in front of them or do it behind their back, but then it comes back to them. Because let's be honest, folks, ISFPs live and they live for credit. They live for credit. They always got to have themselves them credit. You know what I'm saying? Always got to have that credit. Credit is everything to an ISFP, especially when it comes to like their art, you know, and signing their name to art, for example. I actually just got a, uh, an amazing painting sent to me by an ISFP woman from Europe, for example. I'm going to be putting it up here behind here real soon, as soon as I can either uh, convince my parents to ship it to me or maybe I have to drive out to their house to actually pick it up. 
but it's a fantastic, amazing piece, and I'm very happy uh, to have been given it, and I'm going to be hanging up on the wall, but, you know, and she signed her name to it, okay? So, again, you know, their name, their brand, you know, their status, their reputation is everything to an ISFP, so you need to be going out of your way to support that status as often as possible. And if you do this, the ISFP will like literally be like so happy. It's like, oh, there's no one like you out there, etc. And like you'll be like the best of friends because they just love it. Come on, guys, read the book Dale Carnegie wrote, How to Win Friends and Influence People. All you gotta do is to get people to talk about themselves, and you get an ISFP to talk about themselves very easily. All you have to do is just comment on their status, comment on how their reputation in a positive way or their art, etc. Get them to talk about their art. Get them to talk about what they're doing, right? That's basic, you know, uh, standard psychology. You know, check out Dale Carnegie's book if you haven't. csjoseph.life forward slash reading. You can find a link to the book uh, directly there. And it's also like my entire library, just so you folks know. So anyway, folks. Uh, if you like your chance, uh, if you like a chance at your question being answered on this channel, please post it on Core and tag me or leave it as a comment below. And uh, with all that being said, folks, I'll see you guys tonight.